Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I actually walk in. Huh? <laughs> Already, man. <laughs> to and make from it. there, he saw me playing. And what's the funniest thing is like when you grew up, uh, like Bootsy Collins made me want to play the bass. So all that Parliament stuff I learned. At the time, they were trying to replay samples from Parliament. They weren't trying to sample it no more. They want people to replay it. So I knew all them songs. So they played it. Can you play this? I'm thinking, Flashlight? Like, I've been playing that for about 10 years, but I ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, yeah. Let me see. <laughs> like this? They're like, damn, he figured it out like two seconds. I see a hit record. Mm -mm. I play it down five minutes. like, damn. So everybody was tripping. So then Q was like, man, I want you to play, um, you know, whatever I'm doing. So it was Lynch Mob. Whatever, whatever, but me and Cuban close in age, and um, I knew a lot of his people, his wife's people, his cousins, and everything like that. So we kept we kept seeing, he kept hanging with each yeah. other. And in the studios that he recorded at, because he, he was a man at the time, everybody tried to record there. So it'd be wow. five or six rooms. So people would see me hanging with him, be like, "Oh, that's Q's bass player." And then mm -hmm. I started playing with Dubs. And that got you a lot, yeah. a lot of gigs. Everybody on the West Coast at the time, I played bass. How long did you play for him? Uh, from '93 on to now. So you still playing with him? Yeah, I do. That's uh, awesome. I'm doing a theme song for his big three. Um, oh yeah, basketball league. Yeah. Yeah. How how was that transitioning over into that outside of what he's already been? Because to you, it's just music, right? Like, so you could play, you get into it. And you don't. It doesn't matter what is what's happening. You more into the. The, the music, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't, like, it can be basketball, it can be a, 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 a movie, it could be anything, but to you, it's all music. It's consistent. It's all music. Yep. Yeah. He just yep. came to Dallas the other day promoting that. Um, sure did. Yeah, 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 because I reached out because I wanted to get him on our podcast and I reached out, but I, I was well, not very successful. That's he, all right. We're going to keep Cube, working on Cube is usually a year. Behind? Ahead. Oh. His plan is a year. Like, whatever he's going to do next year around this time, he's already planned it out. Mm. So it's hard to catch him. And that's, that's what kind of I, I, I learned a lot from him because he's always real organized and structured. And so he plans everything out. So he's planned out for a whole year. Wow. That's always good. Always a year ahead. I'll be like, man, I hit a date. I said, they got the date wrong. He said, nah. Like, uh, I got to do that next year. I'm like, man, you plan that ahead? You know? I love that. I can't plan a week ahead. I forget and that show up Me and too. all that stuff. See, man, I so. wish I could. No, I would be that person that would be just like him trying to plan. But when you have people around you who don't do the same thing, it's mm. very hard. Yeah. Yep. Don't yep. look at me like that. What you looking uh, at me like that for? <laughs> yeah, so I started so playing with Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. um, I ended up playing for E4. I mean, anybody in um, on the West Coast. And then I started getting flown to New York, and I started playing for um, uh, Easy Mobi's brother LG. So it was like Ill and Out Scratch, mm -hmm. like a bunch of groups like that. That they would fly me out because I'm Cube's quote unquote yeah. bass player, whatever. But that's how I realized in this industry when you get to um, to work with a notoriety, um, a very popular person. Mm -hmm. It's a case where they label you because I was somebody else was telling me about Janet Jackson, piano player, and I'm like, that's how they know the person, by, right. not right. by their name. Yeah. So this, this is such and such player. This is such right. and such, and that's that's what helps them to get their gigs. Heck yeah, yeah. I gave him uh, and didn't charge him. I gave him all the rights to the Big Three theme song, mm. just to say thank you for my association with him. Bless me from 93 on up. Wow. wow. You know what I'm saying? That's big. Yeah. The fact that you would be able to do that, you know, a lot of people get to going and they feel like it's themselves who made it right. happen. So that's big, you know, yeah. that's big oh, yeah. on character. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, I definitely get it, you know, because when people help us or have helped us back in the days or whatever, it's always mm -hmm. love and respect. Yeah, it's always love, man. Yeah. So, and he's never changed who he yeah. is. Same dude, let's play some bones. Nigga was had it. <laughs> no Hollywood. He's he seems the same real cool. dude. He's the same. He, seems he has real never cool. he even dressed the same. T shirt, yeah, jeans, yeah, tennis yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing it says a lot about you. To me, it it seems more like a brotherhood between you and him because for the main fact you've been working with him for such a long time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because it's hard to find people that you can, you know, um, really get along with and they know exactly what you want 
and then they don't get too big headed about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. this business, I'm sure you can find a lot of people who get big headed. Oh yeah, I got some people I really want to put on blast right now, but hey. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give it up to God right now. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.